This is our vehicle defense class. It's very important that people who carry a firearm every day are confident and competent in getting to their gun from within a vehicle, getting out of it and going around it as well. Um, a lot of the crimes that are occurring today are happening inside vehicles. So this is a way that you can ensure that you can protect yourself and your family. Okay, once I get the gun out, look at where I have my body. Look at where I'm, I'm wedging myself up against here and pushing and I'm like as stable as I possibly can be. Okay, center line of your body, drive down, door handle, push it. Now, if I draw issues, okay? So I push it open, bring it, roll it, and then go, okay? As much as I can wedge myself, the more stable I am and the more of a range I have as well. put your foot here okay in the crease of the door because once again yeah, same hurt. issue I could put a little bit of pressure on there and cause a lot of pain but here put it there don't let don't straighten your knee okay driver side window I go 12 o'clock 9 o'clock and out the window I have avoided my body sweeping across here I have given myself options because if I needed to pivot and go out the other window I could if I needed to go out the front, I could. And if I needed to go out the other side, I could. Is that you should, when you get in your car, you're stepping into your trap. Because when you're getting in your car, your car is not moving, right? So that is when you are trapped. When your vehicle is not moving, you're trapped. So as I get into the car, I am checking all my mirrors, which we had to take off the mirror. So you guys, I know you wouldn't shoot them, but other people in the, in the past have. Okay, you're checking your mirrors as you put your seatbelt on. Now, if you have a cover garment that's open, you might want to think about doing that, putting it behind you. Even your big winter coat, you can still wear your big winter coat, but take the flap that's covering your gun, put it behind you and that'll expose it. Open carries legal, okay? And I am aiming, I am aiming at his torso, like center line, xiphoid process right here. Where is the bullet gonna hit? Low, okay? Now, if I was shooting, I don't know why I would, um, but if I was shooting through a windshield coming in, um, which I do in law enforcement demos, but you know, that's about it. What about that? Where is it going to be hitting? It's going to go high. Okay. If you're shooting in, the bullet's going to go high. If you're shooting out, the bullet's going to be directed downward. It's, it's just about impossible to index on your holster like you are when you're standing up because you're, you can't get your elbow back far enough. So the more you roll over to your side, the further you get your elbow back. Or cover, okay? What about if I'm shot and I need to plug a hole real quick? What do I need from him? Cover, okay? What you're really asking for is cover. Cover, cover! Covering! There you go, there you go, there you go. Put up. Get a good grip, get a good grip. Talk to each other. Getting out, standing. Moving. Say the old saying, we say it all the time here, under, under stress, you're not gonna rise to the occasion, you're gonna fall to the level you've mastered. And if you haven't mastered any of this, then you're gonna be in big trouble.